What if I told you that a single gunshot could start a war that would engulf the entire world? This is the story of the First World War, also known as the Great War, a conflict of unprecedented scale and impact. It was a war that transformed the map of the world, changed societies, and set the stage for the century to come. In the next few minutes, we will travel back in time to the tumultuous years of 1914 to 1918. Imagine a world on the brink, a single event capable of tipping it over the edge. This was the world of the early 20th century, a world teetering on the precipice of a great war. In this volatile atmosphere, one incident in particular lit the fuse. June 28, 1914, Sarajevo. The heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, was visiting the city with his wife, Duchess Sophie. Tragically, their motorcade was targeted by a group of young nationalists, the Black Hand. A failed grenade attack in the morning set the stage for the fatal encounter later that day. Unbeknownst to the Archduke, one of the conspirators, Gavrilo Princip, was still lurking in the city. As fate would have it, the royal couple's driver took a wrong turn, leading them directly into the path of Princip. Seizing the opportunity, he fired two shots, striking both the Archduke and his wife. Within an hour, both were dead. This assassination sent shockwaves through the political landscape of Europe. Tensions had been simmering for years, amplified by a complex web of alliances and rivalries. The death of the Archduke acted as a catalyst, setting off a chain of events that led to declarations of war, mobilization of armies, and eventually the outbreak of World War I. And just like that, the world was thrust into a conflict of unprecedented scale. In a world divided, alliances can make or break nations. The Great War was no exception with two major alliances at the heart of the conflict, the Entente Powers and the Central Powers. The Entente Powers, also known as the Allies, had a core of three nations, France, Russia, and the United Kingdom. France, seeking to regain territories lost to Germany in a previous war, was eager to counterbalance the growing German power. Russia, having cultural and historical ties with Serbia, was drawn into the war following the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. And the United Kingdom, alarmed by the naval and colonial expansion of Germany, joined the fray to maintain the balance of power in Europe. On the other side of the trenches were the Central Powers, primarily Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. Germany, with its newly unified states, sought to establish itself as a world power. Austria-Hungary, still nursing the wounds of the assassination of their heir to the throne, aimed to quell the nationalist movements within its empire. The Ottoman Empire, seeking to regain lost territories and restore its declining power, saw an alliance with the Central Powers as a means to achieve these aims. Other nations would later join these alliances, drawn in by a complex web of treaties, promises, and threats. Italy, initially part of the Central Powers, switched sides hoping to gain territories from Austria-Hungary. Japan, eyeing German possessions in the Pacific and China, joined the Entente. The United States, initially neutral, entered the war on the side of the Allies, driven by economic interests and a series of unrestricted submarine warfare by Germany. These alliances weren't just about military cooperation, they were about shared goals, common enemies, and strategic advantages. They were about tension and mistrust, promises and betrayals, and they weren't static. They shifted as the war progressed, as nations fell and rose, as strategies changed. These alliances set the stage for a war that would span continents and oceans. Um, and as we'll see in the next scenes, they would shape the course of the war and indeed the course of history. A war of this magnitude was not confined to a single battlefield. Indeed, the Great War, or World War I, sprawled across multiple theaters, each with its unique challenges and strategies. Let's delve into the Eastern, Western, Italian fronts and beyond. The Eastern Front, stretching from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea, was a realm of vast distances and harsh climates. It was here that the Central Powers, particularly Germany and Austria-Hungary, locked horns with Russia. The vastness of the Eastern Front posed a significant challenge to both sides, with communication and supply lines often stretched to breaking point. Yet it was also a theater of maneuver and mobility, where encirclements and breakthroughs were common. Shifting our gaze westward, we encounter the Western Front. Here, a different kind of war was waged. A war of attrition, marked by trench warfare, where victories were measured not in miles gained, but lives lost. 
The Western Front, stretching from the English Channel to the Swiss border, was a brutal testament to the industrial scale of 20th century warfare. The machine gun and the artillery shell reigned supreme here, turning the beautiful French and Belgian countryside into a lunar landscape. Then we have the Italian Front, where Italy and Austria-Hungary grappled in the rugged terrain of the Alps and along the Isonzo River. The battles here were defined by their verticality, with soldiers often fighting at high altitudes in freezing conditions and on slopes of treacherous steepness. The strategies evolved here were as unique as the landscape itself, with tunnel warfare becoming a grim reality. Beyond these major fronts, there were other theaters too, from the scorching deserts of the Middle East to the freezing waters of the North Sea. Each presented its challenges, its strategies, and its tales of heroism and tragedy. The battlefields of W.W. Wu were as varied as they were brutal. From the vast plains of the East to the claustrophobic trenches of the West, from the dizzying heights of the Italian Alps to the scorching deserts of the Middle East, World War I was truly a global conflict, fought on an unprecedented scale. The battlefields of Wabiyowu were as varied as they were brutal. In every war, there are moments that change the course of history. In the Great War, these moments were plentiful, each one tipping the scales ever so slightly and changing the landscape of the conflict. Let's turn back the clock to the 1st of July, 1916, the start of the Battle of the Somme. This was one of the bloodiest battles in human history, with over one million casualties on both sides. The sheer scale of loss and destruction was a wake-up call to the world, underlining the brutal reality of modern warfare. However, the Battle of the Somme also marked a significant turning point as it marked the first large-scale use of tanks. These steel beasts, introduced by the British, forever changed the face of warfare. No longer could trenches and barbed wire halt the advance of an army, the tanks, though few in number and plagued with technical issues, represented a new era of warfare, one of mechanization and mass production. The year 1917 brought another significant pivot, the entry of the United States into the war. American resources and manpower tipped the balance in favor of the Allies. Despite their late arrival, the American expeditionary forces played a crucial role in the final year of the war helping to drive back the German offensives and secure victory for the Allies. But each of these moments, as monumental as they were, did not stand alone. They were part of a larger tapestry, a series of events and decisions, triumphs and tragedies that shaped the course of the Great War. Each moment, each turning point had a ripple effect that extended far beyond the battlefields of Europe. These pivotal moments shaped the war and the world as we know it. They left indelible marks on our history, forever changing the way we understand conflict, diplomacy, and the human capacity for both destruction and resilience. Every war must end, but peace comes at a price. June 28, 1919, five years to the day after the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the Treaty of Versailles was signed. A document crafted with the aim of ensuring world peace but also a document that bore the seeds of resentment and future conflict. The treaty was stringent, particularly towards Germany, the main central power. Germany was held responsible for starting the war, a clause that came to be known as the War Guilt Clause. This clause required Germany to accept full responsibility for the damage caused during the war and to pay reparations to the Allied countries. The reparations were astronomical, equivalent to around $440 billion today. The treaty also dictated territorial changes. Germany lost about 13% of its territory and all its overseas colonies. New nations were born out of the collapsed empires and borders were redrawn, creating a new world map. These severe terms led to a deep sense of humiliation and resentment among the German people, which would later fuel the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party. Beyond the treaty, society was profoundly changed. The war had taken a toll on the global population, with an estimated 9 million combatants and 7 million civilians dead. Entire generations were marked by loss, grief, and the trauma of war. Women having stepped into roles traditionally held by men during the war began to demand greater rights and freedoms. This led to significant societal shifts, including the rise of the women's suffrage movement. Geopolitically, the world was different too. The Russian Revolution had led to the establishment of the first communist state. In the Middle East, the fall of the Ottoman Empire set the stage for decades of unrest. 
In the end, the Treaty of Versailles and the aftermath of the Great War set the stage for a new world order, one rife with tensions that would eventually lead to another global conflict. And so, the Great War ended, leaving a world forever changed. In the span of just four years, the world was transformed by a war of unparalleled scale. We journeyed from the spark of conflict with the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, through the complexities of alliances formed and the immense battles fought on various fronts. We explored key events, turning points and the aftermath, including the Treaty of Versailles. The echoes of the Great War still resonate today, a stark reminder of the cost of global conflict.